So we were always interested in uh, joining and becoming involved with the group. So our first step, we were dating. So we thought, let's join a premarital counseling group. And you remember, no other couple signed up. So it's just the two of us. So we were like, okay, let's explore other options, other ways we can get connected to other couples and people in our city uh, who are walking with Jesus and who can we walk with. And so that's when Michelle connected us to Marie and Yul. And it was just an instant connection. I remember her asking, like, do you feel comfortable to lead a group or facilitate a group? And we thought, okay, we've never done that before. It sounds a little scary. And then she said, would you do it with another couple? And we're like, yes, of course, we would co-lead and co-facilitate. We met them and we were like, these are the people that we're gonna walk with and uh, start a group with. On our end, we had just moved from LA and we were coming here and we're like, we have to make new friends and kind of build that community again. And um, in LA, we had a small group there for young married couples and it really, it just like filled our lives so much to have that group. And so when we came here, we looked on the site and it seemed like all the groups were filled and we were like, okay, well, maybe we start our own. When we all went into this, we didn't go into it like, okay, we're the experts or, oh, you guys are married the longest, you guys are the experts. We went on this journey to say, okay, like we're all wanting to discover together. What does that look like for us? It was, I think one of my favorite weeks was there was a week about pruning and multiple of us admitted failures, but those failures weren't looked down on. Like some of us were nervous to show those failures, but some of us celebrated each other in the confidence that we had to share that failure with that group, as well as um, discuss ideas as to how to move past that and how to better that communication between us and our spouse. Yeah, I, it, during those conversations, we didn't feel so alone because we're like, oh, wow, like Andrew and Tiffany have that same struggle or so-and-so has the same struggle. And so it's it's cool to be able to like talk through it, not just us two, but like as a whole group. That that was really neat, you know. What's great too is that with our group, there's a lot of intentionality with showing up at specific times and places, but there's also flexibility and spontaneity. I remember I had that procedure last year and that's just scary, like being away from family and people that you know. So having your group and people step in and check in on you and send you Uber Eats, like that was so huge for us. We were like, oh, these people really are in our corner, like checking in on us when we're down and that was special. I think studying the word together, celebrating each other, showing up for each other, sharing meals and food together, that you can see miracles in people's lives in terms of like helping someone through a moment you didn't know they were going through. They're not family, um, but they, they feel like family now. You know, there was a time in my life uh, where I felt very apathetic and dissatisfied. And uh, with Jesus, I've just found so much more purpose and joy in day-to-day -day life. Marie, do you have a story like that? Um, there was a time when I was just more guarded and had walls up and just didn't really want people to see my true emotions. Um, but with Jesus, I feel like I can finally just be myself and let people see the real me. Tiffany, tell a story like that. Uh, there was a time in my life uh, where I was super anxious and I just felt like I wasn't enough. And uh, now with Jesus, I'm learning that I am enough in Him and I'm just learning more of who He's called me to be. Yo, do you have a story like that? Yeah, there was a time in my life when I was trying to find purpose and meaning in anything and everything uh, with Jesus. I'm finding purpose and joy in everything I do every day. I think it's really cool that we all have these individual transformation stories, but I think as a group and as people who walk together, it's cool that uh, before we all kind of felt disconnected, looking for our people, looking for community, looking for people to do life with. And now that we have a group, I feel like we have teammates, we got prayer partners, we just have people who know are with us, like you said, they're sick and thin. Super encouraging.